Hello, everyone. Shalom. God bless you all. Welcome to the word. Good afternoon, everyone. I am so excited about this word um, that's going to be coming forth today. And I pray that um, that every time that the Father uses me for this platform, I pray um, that you're um, starting to see broader days. I'm hearing uh, either great impartation, revelation, activation from these uh, broadcasts, broadcasting and anointing. Uh, and I pray right now that God will pour out his anointing over each and every one of you. Um, and it would just break things off. It would bring you into full manifestation of God's spirit, of his glory, as we are waiting for his son, Jesus Christ, Yeshua, Hamashiach, to return. Amen. Aren't you excited about that you serve a wonderful God? Aren't you excited about that you serve an awesome God, a God that will uh, rescue you, that will take care of you, the God of, you know, all seeing God, almighty God, all present God, all, all helper, okay? <laughs> amen. I mean, I can go on and on about um, the goodness of the Father, amen, but for the sake of time, I'm not going to do that today, but just know that I'm praying for you, well, we are praying for you here at Rain and Fire International World Cathedral Church, and um. I'm telling you, I just heard the Lord uh, speak to my spirit just a second ago. And he said, your life would never be the same. My God. After this, your life would never be the same. Amen. And so nevertheless, so let's go ahead and dive right into the word. I have a few scriptures. I'm going to be really coming out the book of Timothy, look like. Uh, amen. Hallelujah. Um, mostly. Um, and so I may have to paraphrase a lot uh, for the sake of time. Uh, hallelujah. Um, but I want to speak about the word discipline. All right. Amen. Now, I'm not speaking about uh, uh, how the father disciplines children. I I'm speaking about discipline to the degree as we are disciplined ourselves, uh, you know, uh, for uh, the purposes of God. Amen. All right. You know, being sarcastic in, in, a, in a loving way, you know, um, I tell people all the time, you know, be that burn offering. <laughs> amen. You know, be that burn offering. Amen. You know, have, you know, you know, just die for Christ, die for God. Amen. You know, and so whenever he is doing the crushing, he's doing the burning off the fat, um, the, uh, the extra weight off you in the spirit. Amen. Let it be a sweet aroma that goes up into the father's nostril. Amen. Hallelujah. So be that burn offering for the Lord. Amen. And so uh, part of that, you know, uh, is, is actually discipline ourselves. Amen. You know, not fooling with the world, not fooling with the same folks. Amen. You know, sticking by the Lord and walking in the Lord's ways and standing by the Lord's spirit. Amen. All right. We know that once we uh, become saved and, and the process uh, begins, amen, uh, we are no longer like the world. You're actually changing day by day. Well, you're supposed to be changing daily. Okay. Amen. As the Bible said, uh, paraphrasing, we are supposed to be dying to the flesh every day. So one day you're going to wake up, you're going to be translated. Okay. Amen. You're going to be just out of this world. Okay. Amen. And so uh, when I look at the word uh, discipline in a dictionary, it says a train and in parentheses, someone to obey rules or uh, a code of behavior. Amen. And so um, in order for us to get to a place in God, we have to be trained. All right. We should come to the, to the father like what? Like children. Okay. All right. And so now you're coming to the father like a grown adult and God can can teach you that, you know, what good are you going to be? Amen. So we wasn't come to the father like we don't know anything, which we don't. Amen. I don't care how much certificates you have or education or understanding your belt. Hallelujah. When it comes to the all God, the creator, we don't know anything. Everything comes from God. Amen. All right. And so nevertheless, so we know that even though we say by grace, there is a still a, a certain protocol that we have to abide by. That there, There's a certain way we got to walk, you know, talk and, and act. Amen. And so it goes back to the code of conduct. Amen. All right. So we know as, as children of God, we can't be out here acting like, you know, these people of the world. Amen. Uh, we have to be acting according to the Father's word, okay, amen, all right, so quickly here, the first scripture is uh, 2 Timothy 3 and 17, I'm going to be reading different verses, amen, and it says here, so that the servant of God may be thoroughly equipped for every good work, okay, it says thoroughly, all right, and it say half fried, okay, half baked, okay, half seasoned, amen, it say thoroughly, amen, so we should be cooked, 
and equipped, you know, uh, you know, through and through. Okay, everything should be just right. Amen. And so whenever we uh, allow the Lord to put us into training, all right, slash display, amen, hallelujah, it, it, it allow us to be what? To be equipped to the fullest, amen, all right? I know for myself, I, I wouldn't want to go out here and, and start using my gifts, amen, when I'm not even um graced to do it, okay, in certain areas, amen. Either I don't want to go out here prematurely, I want to make sure that the Father has trained me uh, to do every good work, okay, all right? And so nevertheless, so, you know, and then when I when I was hearing that, uh, you know, uh, uh, when I was hearing that, the Lord took me to 1 Timothy, I'm sorry, you guys, uh, 4 and 8, and I'm going to bump back to another scripture right here, right quick, too. Uh, it says here, for physical training is some of, I'm sorry, is of some value, but godliness has value for all things, holding promise for both the present life and the life to come, all right? So, you know, what pretty much here, what I see here by the spirit is that even if you try to go on a diet, lose weight, you're just trying to have the outer appearance looking good, amen. I mean, like the, like the Bible said, you know, it'll give you some value. But to me, that means the value of the world, okay, amen. But if you train yourself, meaning as you allow the Lord to train you in the areas, you know, about his spirit, that's the greater value. That's the value that holds weight. That's the value that, that, that's going to give you eternal life. That's the value that holds all the promise. Amen. And so when I when I read that, um, he, he took my spirit, my mind to Mark 8 and 36. When I read 1 Timothy, uh, Timothy, I'm sorry, 4 and 8. Amen. And it says here, what good is it for someone to gain the whole world, yet forfeit they sold. Amen. And so when I was reading 1 Timothy 4 and 8, that was the first scripture that came to my mind, according to uh, Mark 8. Amen. So a lot of times, like the Lord said, say right now, a lot of times people are, 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 are people pleased. Amen. You want you rather to please the world and not God. And that could be, you know, your idol appearance. Some of us are into fashion. All right. A little too much. Some of us are into makeup and hair a little bit too much. So, you know, and you know what? It's nothing wrong with wearing these things, amen, as long as you don't make these things your God, all right, amen, and so uh, God does not uh, does not mind if you look good and look nice and smell nice, amen, uh, but do not make these things your God, amen, because when you do that, you're forfeiting your soul, all right, when the greatest promise is, all right, is for what, it's not for this life, all right, it's for the next life to come, all right, but, but while we're in this present life, we should be living good, all right, I, I'm all for that, amen, as long as we don't turn it into a God, all right, amen, and so nevertheless, so um, here, uh, going back to 2 Timothy 3 and 17, what the Lord was showing me was this, that we need to allow the Lord to discipline us, all right, amen, for his training, amen, hallelujah, and so that we can, so we can become more perfect, in God, amen, all right, and so here, we're going to go down to uh, Ephesians 4, uh, 12, uh, hallelujah, now, if you're really paying attention to the word, you're going to see uh, these scriptures that I pulled out there by the Holy Ghost, um, it's going to fall into line with the word uh, discipline, amen, and so here it says, Ephesians 4 and 2, I'm talking about training, all right, we don't want to get out here prematurely too early, you need to be trained by God, and, and part of your training, whether it's natural or spiritual, anywhere you go, even on your job, amen, you have to be trained by the supervisor, uh, uh, the district manager, uh, the manager, the, uh, the, uh, the training leader, somebody has to train you because you're not going to go in your position and your job knowing anything, either knowing everything. I don't care how familiar it is, how either you have a, a similar background, amen, you're still going to have to do uh, the work, the same work for a different company, hallelujah, according to their policies, amen, all right? And so here it says, Ephesians 4 and 12 says, to equip his people for, for works of service so that the body of Christ may be built up. So when you allow the Lord to put you through the discipline training, amen, what he is saying, according to that scripture, is, is that not only are you building yourself up, amen, you are also helping him to build a body up, amen. Now, how many people know that we are supposed to be kingdom-minded, okay, kingdom builders, amen, hallelujah. Uh, we are not for ourselves, we're not self-seeking here, hallelujah, in general, speaking about the body of Christ, amen. We are supposed to be impart uh, imparting other people, uh, you know, encouraging them, uh, raising them up, amen, and, and also blessing them and send them out. Amen. And so uh, when we do that, when we allow, when we lay down our life for Christ, uh, when, we, when you lay down your life for Christ, amen, and you let the Lord have you, 
All right. And I'm going to say, throw yourself on the altar. Amen. And let, let the father burn you. Amen. <laughs> hallelujah. Hallelujah. And so when you do that, amen, you are, you are allowing, you know, this person that he uh, has created to, uh, to come forth. Amen. And so another thing I saw here uh, is that first Timothy four and seven have nothing to do with godless mirth and old wide tales. Rather train yourself to be godly. All right. So we don't want to fool that mess in the streets. Amen. We don't want to fool with the world when it comes to entertaining the world. Now, it's one thing to be going in the world to get the lost, hallelujah, and to bring them into Canaan. But what he's saying is, hallelujah, don't, don't even mess with that. Amen. You know, keep your focus and concentration on the Lord. Train yourself to be godly. All right. Don't train yourself to be worldly. Amen. All right. Because we just learned here together that whenever we do that, amen, uh, you're going to forfeit your soul. Amen. Hallelujah. So you want to make sure that you allow the Lord to walk you through this discipline time. Amen. Because I feel like the reason why the Lord got me up here uh, speaking about that, because a lot of you guys are about to go through some type of training. All right. And once you go through training, it's going to require discipline. All right. It's going to require you for you to hold back your flesh. It's going to require, it's going to require you, you to uh, not to entertain the world. Hallelujah. It's going to, it's going to require you to put down all your devices, your, your cell phone, your computers. Amen. It's going to require you to, to separate from people. Amen. Hallelujah. Whatever God is going to have you do, you're going to have to take some things out of your life to make more room for God. Amen. And so that's the word he given me. I know I probably ran over time here. Amen. So nevertheless, so uh, whichever ever uh, else this, uh, this video hit, uh, different platforms, amen. Um, so whoever gets to see it, I know they're going to be blessed by it. Uh, hallelujah. But I want to tell you guys, I love you. I love you so much for, um, with the heart of Christ. And I pray. And I know that you are going to do the things of God. I know that you're going to be successful. I know that um, through your training, uh, as you're becoming supernaturally equipped, uh, hallelujah, as God is going to be stretching you, hallelujah. I mean, I'm telling you, I, I already see it. You're going to be so awesome, amen. And I'm praying for your deliverance, your salvation, uh, your healing, uh, the re revival that, that I see around you guys right now, the Holy Ghost of Fire revival uh, that's going to just tread upon serpents, hallelujah, and snakes, and they're going to be and the demonic. It's going to just drive all evil things out of your life. Amen. And so I love you guys with the heart of Christ, and I will see you next week. Shalom. God bless you. Love you. Bye-bye. Salam. -bye.